So anyone who owns Keith Titanium cookware knows the quality of them. They really are the premier makers of titanium outdoor cooking gear that I'm aware of. Well, I have had the good fortune of having Keith sending me some items that I've previously reviewed on this channel, including uh, the canteen sets, the GI canteen sets, as well as their large water bottle and 650 milliliter mug. And I've done videos comparing them to each other as well. Well, recently, Keith offered to send me a few more items, and uh, I said, sure, why not? And that's what I want to share with you today, some more Keith Titanium cookware. All right, before we get started, just a couple of things. First, I want to thank Keith Titanium of USA for sending me these items so that I could share them with you. All right, this is going to be an introduction video only. I've been using some of these items for a few weeks now, but I really haven't had enough time with each of them to give you a full review. And since there are four items, what I'll do is I'll just give you the highlights of each of these items. I'll show them to you. I won't be given the specifications for each of them, but what I will do is put all the information I have on them in the video description below in the event that you're interested in taking a closer look at any of them, as well as the links, of course, to where you can purchase it. Now, the last thing I want to mention before we get started is there's no question that these are premium items. They are not inexpensive. In fact, most people would say they're very expensive. And they are. They're out of reach for a lot of people. So don't, please, don't feel compelled to purchase these just because I'm showing them to you. Um, this, again, is not a review, so I can't even recommend them yet, although I think I am going to like them, as you'll see, they're, they're really high quality items. They may be expensive, but that is a relative term to you. One, how much do you want to pay for an extra high quality, premium, ultralight piece of titanium cookware? If you don't mind paying the price for them, then this may be something you're interested in purchasing for yourself. Okay, so that's enough of an intro. What I'll do is I'm going to take you down to my bench top. I'll show you each of these items before wrapping this video up. All right, so the first item I want to share with you is the titanium fry pan that they sent me. Let me remove the stuff sack. So each of these items do have their own individual ultralight nylon mesh stuff sack. Work very well. All right, so brand new, has not been used, as I mentioned, that has a folding handle on it that has a sliding bar that helps you lock it into place. Uh, just a nice fry pan. It's not especially deep. Uh, it does have rounded corners, which means it's easy to clean out or to get everything out of your, into, onto your plate if you want to. Super lightweight, just so lightweight. And again, the specs will all be in the video description below. Nice fry pan. Now, here's the thing about titanium cookware and fry pans especially is, and I've seen this complaint quite considerably, and that is because titanium is not a good conductor of heat, it tends to get hot spots, and that is true. So if you're using an item like this over a gas stove with has a very small flame and it's in the center, you're going to get a hot spot right in the center of the fry pan, and that can cause sticking. So when I do come back to review this, I'm going to talk about this at a little bit more length, how you can use titanium cookware without burning your food or may having everything stick to the bottom. And the classic, of course, is can I fry eggs in it? The answer is yes, but there are a few tricks. Just a heads up for that would be, of course, that if you have some type of a uh, distributor of heat underneath it, then it's going to help a whole lot. So let me put that aside, bring the next item in. All right, right off the top, I'll tell you, I'm in love. This thing is just sweet. It really, really is. This is the titanium kettle from Keith. And what makes this so special is, oh, so, so light. Just a small, ultra-light kettle. The lid has a stand-up D-ring that has a, a silicone or some type of a synthetic uh, cover over it. And that allows you to pick it up while it's hot without burning yourself. Two fold-up bale handles, also with silicone over the edges of them, so that, uh, you know, again, so you don't burn yourself. Um, and a pour spout. So just a nice kettle, very flat. Now, it is two-piece construction, which means that there is uh, a piece forced together on the bottom. So when I look inside, 
There is a little crevice down in the bottom where I suppose if you're cooking food inside of this pot, things could get stuck. But if you resist the urge to cook food in this pot, then you shouldn't have an issue with that. Well, okay, so I guess time will tell. But other than that, you can see I have used a little, not over fire yet because of the fire ban, but over gas stoves, and it is just uh, sweet. In fact, I have used it for cooking. I've been using it for boiling, hard boiling some eggs while I've been out here in the woods, and it's worked just fine. So why not carry one thing that you can cook my eggs in and then cook or boil water for coffee or tea? Um, sweet little kettle. Again, all the specifications will be in the video description below. All right, this next item is a little bit different. It's something that uh, when it was offered to me by Keith, I, I considered whether or not I should accept it because I wasn't sure how I was going to uh, demonstrate it in use. And this is Keith's titanium rice cooker. And at least that's the way it's referred to by most people. I think that I can get other uses out of it for, than cooking rice. All right, I have one more piece of kit that I want to share with you from Keith Titanium and I saved this one for last for a few reasons. This is without question a premium piece of kit from Keith. This is their titanium pour over coffee maker and quite honestly unless you're a coffee lover who has a budget to buy good kit this likely is not going to be for you. Now, I love a good cup of coffee. You all know that. I've been using this. This makes an amazing cup of coffee, without question, but it is not cheap. Actually, it's just the opposite. It's quite expensive, but it is really something special. It is a marvel of engineering. Okay, enough talk. Let's take a close look at it. So what you get for your money. To start with, you get this premium leather little case, zippered case to contain everything in. Uh, it's nice, but if you're looking at it from an ultralight point of view, then this is probably not something you'll carry it in but it really goes well together inside of the case I'll bring out each of the items and I'll assemble them to show you how they go together all right and one more and put the case aside so let's start with the cup itself the little coffee cup so it is a double wall titanium cup it is shaped based on an old Chinese design where tapers and then tapers back out again makes it easy to drink from it's just a nice cup now it's kind of small it's not very large but it still works you know it's just it goes well together all right so that's one item number two is this is the titanium filter that goes with it so first off there's no need for paper filter whatsoever and unlike a lot of mesh stainless steel coffee filters that I've tried this one doesn't allow grounds through there is no silt no fines coming through in my coffee and that's because the holes in this are so small 26,000 micro holes cut into the outside of this I mean I know they're there but you really can't even see them, they're so small. And what's special about each of those holes, it has been made in such a way that the hole diameter is smaller on the outside than it is on the inside, so roughly funnel shape. And that what that does is allows the water to flow through the coffee and out through the holes, it almost weeps rather than pours through the outside of this and keeps all the grounds inside so you don't get them in your coffee. And the next item, of course, is what holds the filter over. And that just sits on top of the mug like this. That sits on like that. Your coffee goes in there and you pour your water in on top of that. Now, it's slow to go through. I'll, I'll say that right off the top. It is slow to go through and you do have to pour water multiple times to get all the water you want through the coffee into here. But that just results in a nicer, richer cup of coffee. So they call that the drawdown time, how quickly water will run through the uh, pour over and into your coffee. So this has a very slow drawdown time. That means a longer time between the water in contact with the coffee. So it means a more richer, darker, or not necessarily darker, but a richer, more full-bodied extraction of coffee. Really, really nice. Now there is a lid. You don't use the lid so much on top of that to keep the coffee warm there. More you use the lid like that to keep the coffee warm. So if it's cold outside and you don't plan on drinking your coffee right away, you want to give it a few moments to come to temperature before you can drink it, then there you go. That's going to keep it all together. Oh my goodness, I've used this uh, quite a few times, not only out here in the woods, but at home, and this really is a premium way to make coffee. 
but it does come at a cost. Okay, I've shown you four separate items. I think it's time to wrap this video up. All right, so I've shown you four new products from Keith Titanium that I'm going to be testing over the next little while and then bring back my reviews on each of those items separately. So as I mentioned, I have been using the kettle for making tea, coffee, and actually cooking eggs in. Uh, and I have been using that coffee maker. Oh, what a nice cup of coffee it does make. Again, I want to put out, these are put out there that these are not for everybody. They're not inexpensive. In fact, they're quite expensive. But if you have the budget for the very best ultralight gear that you can get, then these are the ones to look at. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, I'll put all the specifications as well as the links to where you can get another look at these items in the video description below. But I would invite you, if you have any questions or comments, to put them in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.